not to be crass, but that's the jackpot. <laughs> like so many people, if you're inviting a lot of like your your yeah. older, you know, family friends, um, a lot of them are going to just forego the whole online registry thing. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Our sweet Jen over here got married in January and is really just has all the knowledge in the world in my oh, opinion. Um, that's what happens when you get married. On wedding stuff. So I think it's great just for people that are maybe getting engaged soon um, or you know are already in the process of planning their wedding. I mean, maybe need a little bit help on things for the kitchen, which we love. I've got some questions. We're going to start off. Um, I thought of some questions that I maybe would have. So how did, and I've always wondered this, how did you pick where to register? I think that a lot of people register kind of a lot of places, but I knew I just wanted to register at a few. And I tried to pick somewhere that was like really, really cheap, like somewhere as cheap as possible. And so... I would say I'd recommend you pick kind of from like an Am like some people do Amazon, some people do mm -hmm. obviously like Walmart too. Uh -huh, yeah. or Ben. I did Target okay. for that one. Um, so that was where I did a lot of like my gardening tools. <laughs> Funny, I had put this cute and it said mini gardening set, but I thought it would be like oh a handheld size shovel. <laughs> It was actually this big. It was like a bag with a tiny baby shovel and a doll was gonna garden. This would be the set they would use. So I guess that's uh, tip number two. Yeah, check, check your items. The dimensions. This is mini gardening. Thank you. Yeah, that was the way I went to get like okay. a snow shovel and boring stuff okay. like that. Okay. Well, but also there were cute things on there yeah. where you know from Target that I just added on mm -hmm. um but target was definitely like the light bulbs and things like that okay. but i re so i recommend like a low you know just yeah. like cheap normal just place. to be friendly for any person totally totally okay. um and those things are necessary which yeah. we can touch on that later but um so i picked something like that and then a couple like steps up so then i picked i w went through anthropology one of i think yeah this i love this it's a parisian tile collection and so um i registered there and did a few things on that went to anthropology the gal kind of t informed me that anthropology specifically has so many different lines coming through like every season wow. you know what i mean and so so you mean like somebody couldn't get the parisian line right next time well okay. yeah so oh how fun would that happen when you were right i know isn't that sweet i love it so i love that line but when i registered for it it was kind of scary because you like I was registering maybe in October and my wedding was in January mm -hmm. and that's gonna be gone by January yeah. you know what I mean so that is kind of a tip like honestly I would have my mom or my husband well fiance at the time like buy things early just because like sometimes you can't get it later so if you like something especially from a place like anthropology find a way to like phone a relative that's gonna that's eventually buy, buy you a gift and say this one might kind of go soon exactly i would recommend finally like going for it like going big you know like go i would not like i can't even imagine having a whole house of like pottery barn things but it was fun to like register or something yeah, yeah because it's your wedding like people are gonna buy you beautiful things um and so definitely sure. go big and get like a pottery barn or I know a lot of people love West Elm. It's a little more modern, so whatever your style is. I found that I liked um, Pottery Barn a lot, but I did Pottery Barn and then Williams Sonoma. Okay. Um, where was your favorite place to register, and where did you have the best experience registering? Do you know the answer to this? No. Okay. Am I well, supposed to? No, I just feel like I'm I very don't. passionate about one particular store, but if you guys didn't know already, Landis was my maid of honor, one of my maids of honor. <laughs> So yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Williams, I don't think I ever went with you to register really? though. So no, I yeah. didn't. But William Sonoma was oh, amazing. My goodness. I've always loved what William Sonoma. Like, you went to the one in Utica? Yeah. Um, I remember, I, I think, I didn't bring my fiance around for almost anything except when we went to William Sonoma. It's like cereal bowls. Oh my word. <laughs> that was, uh, watch him like come home now. I would love for him to give his take on this. But we were in Pottery Barn, and he was trying to, like, I would, because 
bowls are nowadays like so trendy. Yeah. You know, you have like the lots really, of, there's lots to pick from. Yeah, they're like super shallow ones. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Really like like smoothie bowl type things. Like so Rock many bowls, bowls get very, especially at anthropology. They have like uneven yeah. rims and stuff. Mm, I, I don't know about y'all, but, but my fiance was not happy about that. You know what I mean? Like boys are just like, why would I? Why would I use that? Why would I want a bowl that has it? Exactly. Yeah. And so he surprisingly was very particular. So I guess it's sweet to sometimes you know ask what they would want to yes. eat out of because I think we think yes. they don't care, but I think they do. And something like bowls makes you realize that how like impractical sometimes we are as women because we just like yeah, want the, we beauty, like the beauty of it, and they and they just want the cereal, the practical. They really just want just the food. want a big enough vessel <laughs> for a appropriate man sized amount of cereal. Yeah. Did you go in with an actual like click click click? So, or is it all online now? Right. I think that's something that... Because I always picture, like, going with the little... You feel so official, you know, like, clicking thing. I don't know. I think that's fun. And it's that it's online, is it not? And if you go to, like, Target, I don't know that they'll give you a click thing. So, Williams-Sonoma, I would say, if you have to... If you can only bring your fiancé to one thing, Williams-Sonoma. They're they're always super respectful and, like, helpful Mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, so that's definitely like the ideal okay. registering moment what that you're dreaming you of. How did you know how many things to put on your registry? Yeah. Because I remember just kind of seeing, and I've been to a couple bridal showers where I just have noticed people being like, you know, there was nothing left on the registry to buy, or like I didn't see anything that was left in my budget. So I guess like mm-hmm. over register. That can be hard. I don't know. How yes. do you know like what's the like good number? Of so things to register I for? guess that again, I'm not a pro. I feel like I'm acting like I'm a pro, but I'm not. So for me, like anybody else who probably hasn't been married before, I relied a lot on the wedding re- website that I used actually. So okay. Zola, is Zola. Okay. Zola and Emily. And you had a good experience yes. with Zola? Yes, okay. Emily's using Zola because she loved it. Okay. Got to see that it's like great. But I really recommend Zola. Um, had an option to where you could you like add your registry um, mm-hmm. items through there and they'll tell you like it, they kind of have a... Okay, about how many you should. Yeah, okay. they're like, oh, you need more of this price range, whatever. And I was shocked at how many wow. items you have to have on there. And with that, I recommend um, there's usually an option to like write a note or a memo about that item. And so you can say like, doctor's really excited about these bowls. And that makes someone way more Because from the other side, when I was going through the registry, it is not because there's so many things. And you're like, well, what, you know, how are this? What things do they really want? So I guess, yeah, just tagging and mm-hmm. saying, you know, this is something that would be really, you know, really special for us to have. Exactly. Or, you know, if you don't have a note on it, then people probably kind of mm-hmm. know that that's not at the top, but you still need it. Yes, you know, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but a rule of thumb would be like, register more. Because yes. if you, and then note the things that are super important to you, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a plethora of options yeah. for people to pick from. Say if you have like 200 guests, still get like a hundred yeah. of each price range yeah, so like you might even have some items. guests that go to a bridal shower and bring you a gift and then maybe also bring a gift to a wedding so you might you know you never know which the would real be. ones <laughs> we love those <laughs> what was the most unique thing that you put on your registry okay well i wanted to put bikes on my registry but i wasn't allowed because apparently that's weird but my advice to people would be put like yeah. if you have a hobby or some stuff like little icons that you can add to your registry okay. that say um like you can do a donation to places did you oh, know that sweet. and you can like add in a donation to like feed the children or something like that oh that's fun you can also do can't you do it too for like if you want it like um i mean i think gift cards are good yes. and then they also have ones for like airbnb and stuff too, exactly I okay so airbnb I think like Amazon anything, yeah. um, but you can do like a honeymoon fun too. Yeah, and I think Southwest I think does flight ones. I bet, yeah. Which they have cool. a lot of things like that. Um, so you could do that if you wanted to. That'd be sweet but for yeah. like your first year anniversary trip or something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hoping yeah. we go. Jenny's thinking. Sorry. I wanted. How did you decide on like your plates and bowls and basic necessities? Silverware was really important to me. I. Like, funnily enough, that advice was given to me by Mary Kate Robertson. If you know who she is, she's um, married to John Luke Robertson. This is of the Duck Dynasty. Um, So I was very particular about, I forgot why, or I just remembered why, 
I wanted this silverware so bad. So when I lived in Theta, at the Theta house in Norman, Oklahoma at OU. Famous. Yep. I, um, there was like, you know, it, you, you go through the buffet line and there's like a tub of silverware and you just grab a fork, grab a spoon, you know, but there was always one fork that had a rose on the end and like this Only intricate one. thing. Just one. Yeah. And Did I was, you always try to get that fork? Yes. So, and the cooks knew that. Like Marina, our chef, if you're a Theta, you know who Marina is. She's the best. Um, I was not a Theta. I was right. a Kappa. Can you believe that? Just trying to clarify in case you think that this oh. is we're sharing it. Oh. I was a Kappa. Yeah, rivals. Anywho, I always looked for that, or and it was always there. Yeah, it's like everyone knew. Just kidding, no one knew. But so I loved that. They loved it for you. And so I, see, I was very like I had, I wanted somewhere like that, and I could never. I mean, Pottery Barn. I looked everywhere, like even places I wasn't registered mm-hmm. for somewhere I actually really, really liked, and I didn't like any of the other ones. So I was on Instagram, and I saw that Mary Kate Robertson had that silverware. Sweet. I know, and so I messaged her just like hoping, and she replied, and she actually told me that she got it at Dillard's, and that her mom recommended she do that because if you can't, if you like need to replace it at all, Dillard's is always like yeah. rock solid, always gonna have the same stuff. We got our plates from Pottery Barn, um, and I really really like them, and they're Sweet. stoneware, really similar to porcelain, but um, while you're like looking through, if you're a bride watching this. Um, and you see it says stoneware, really, I've had my plates for several months now and they've done great, but the only like upkeep thing you need to know about them is you're really not meant to like let it sit with water. And so, so I, I think my husband could handle that. Like I told him and he was like, okay. But um, what if he forgets one time? It'll right, be okay. it's gonna be fine. But yeah, so okay. stoneware is great, but there is a little bit of upkeep to okay. it. Okay. Yep. Is there anything that you wish you would have known before registering? Ooh, if I could tell myself anything, like starting out in the beginning, is that kind of, I think uh, probably a lot of brides do this. You're kind of like checking your registry to see if it, like, because most websites you can see if people if have people purchased bought it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I would see that a lot of, like, the pieces that I really, really wanted that were consequently really, really expensive, like weren't getting bought. Okay, kind of waiting for that. Yeah, and I think I kind of, yeah, and I think I kind of like took it personally sometimes. Definitely like wanted those things and nobody, but nobody bought it online. And so I was kind of like, bummer. However, yeah, the, I think that for some, you know, just like getting married, going on honeymoon, I started work a week after I got married, blah, blah, blah. It's a hectic time for everyone. I think we were like kind of putting off the whole opening the cards thing just because we were like, oh, I need to read them and then like write everyone back. However, not to be crass, but that's the jackpot. (laughs) Like so many people, if you're inviting a lot of like your your older, you know, family friends, um, a lot of them are going to just forego the whole online registry thing. And just because it's complicated and they're just gonna throw a few hundreds in a card. Yeah. Um, and so we kind of, I, I think I underestimated that. And that was, I mean, I took that stuff to the bank. Like, yeah, that was what got me most of the big ticket items. Okay, I think, <laughs> I think that's all. Do you have anything else you want to add before we kind of close it out? Um, I guess I just want to say congratulations. If you're engaged right now, that's so exciting. Is- or if you're a maid of honor or a bridesmaid. Sure. Hopefully. Friends are getting married, I'm sure. This is good to yeah, know. Yeah, that's really sweet okay. of you to be watching this. But otherwise, yeah. yeah, if you know someone who might need some help, send this video their way. And, and if you have any specific questions, you can always comment or message us on our Instagram or yeah, anything. Yeah, find us so on we're, we're yeah. always yeah. always ready to answer kind of, you know, sometimes when you need a quick Sometimes answer. you need a friend. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I think I learned a lot. So I think Thanks. we got all of the info we need. Thank you guys for watching. Um, so yeah. Um, stay tuned for another video about my particular picks um, and items that I maybe loved or didn't end up loving that I registered for. Yeah, that's it. Okay, guys. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.